Mr. President, uh, I rise in support of an amendment uh, that will be, I understand, will be offered uh, to the Word of Bill from my colleague from Louisiana, Senator Landrieu, uh, Amendment Number 802, which would stop flood insurance premiums from skyrocketing until FEMA completes its study on the affordability of premiums of the National Flood Insurance Program. Now, as everyone here knows, my home state of New Jersey was at the epicenter of Superstorm Sandy, which destroyed thousands of homes, left millions without power, caused billions of dollars in damage. But despite the devastation, the people of New Jersey didn't give up. They began rebuilding, and we showed the country that Jersey Tough isn't just a slogan. But even as we slowly recover from the worst natural disaster in our state's history, a man-made disaster is looming in the distance, jeopardizing our recovery. The combination of updated flood maps and the phase-out of the premium subsidies for the National Flood Insurance Program threatens to force victims out of their homes and destroy entire communities. It's like a triple whammy. You have the consequences of Superstorm Sandy, which devastated homes. So they have to rebuild. Many times that insurance didn't rise to the level of the cost of rebuilding. Secondly, in, as a result of flood maps that came in after, after the storm, there is now requirements for new elevations. And then thirdly, the premiums are going to skyrocket because the subsidies go down. So you have a triple whammy. Now, many homeowners are going to be forced to pay premiums that are several times higher than their current policy. Those who cannot afford the higher premiums will either be forced to sell or abandon their home. This, in turn, will drive down property values and local revenues at the worst possible time, when we are doing everything we can to bring communities back to life after the storm. Now, I've heard from countless New Jerseyans Many have come to me in tears who are facing this predicament. These are hardworking, middle-class families who played by the rules, purchased flood insurance responsibly, and now are being priced out of the only home that they have ever lived in. This amendment would delay these potentially devastating changes until FEMA completes its study on premium affordability. This study is the result of a requirement I authored in the flood insurance bill last year because I was concerned that premiums could become unaffordable for too many families. And of course, at that time, the challenge was by many of our colleagues, particularly on the other side of the aisle, who said, well, we'll let the flood insurance program die unless it can be self-sufficient. And given a choice between having no flood insurance program that therefore would mean no homeowner would have any insurance available to them, and of course which uh, dramatically reduces the value of the home if you can't get flood insurance and you're in a flood plain, or having a flood insurance program under the conditions that our colleagues uh, insisted on, uh, there was a need to have a flood insurance program. But because I knew that that had some potential rate shock to individuals, uh, the study that I uh, required and uh, sought and achieved in the flood insurance bill last year was because of this concern of unaffordability for too many families. And that was even before Superstorm Sandy struck. Now, while my friends on the other side of the aisle protested my efforts to provide assistance to help low and middle income families afford insurance, I was able to include a requirement that FEMA conduct this study on affordability. Well, it's been 10 months since we passed the reauthorization and there's still no study. But unfortunately, my concerns about premiums becoming unaffordable have already come true for many New Jersey homeowners. And until FEMA does its job, and provides options according to the law to improve affordability, the people of New Jersey shouldn't have to face these skyrocketing premiums at a time that they're in essence getting a triple whammy. They lost their homes or their homes are dramatically uninhabitable. They have to rebuild. 
In many cases, because of new flood mats, they'll have to elevate and they'll have to pay incredibly higher premiums. That's simply a devastation that shouldn't take place. We all remember the devastation that happened in New Jersey in late October and the way the country came together to help the victims. Last week, we marked the sixth month anniversary of Sandy and the work is far from over. We still have too many people out of their homes and too many people who are afraid of losing their homes. New Jersey families already suffered from a natural disaster. The next disaster shouldn't be a man-made one, and I urge my colleagues to support this amendment. And with that, Mr. President, I yield the floor.